passengers scramble to get a seat on the bus, one woman remains calm. The 65-year-old doesn't have to pay to ride and always finds a seat waiting for her. She leaves her house at 8.50 a.m. to catch the bus and has another three hours of ride time ahead of her. It is almost noon by the time she makes it to her workplace. Atengusik quickly picks up sheets of wool and begins the long process of felt making. The felt art has a lot of variety. Slippers, shoes, boots can be made with felt. If someone has an interest, it's possible to learn. I think so. Felt is a staple of Mongolia, dating back to the 13th century when herders began using animal fur for rugs, shoes, and other things. After thinning out the wool, she shapes it into a felt shoe pattern. She then brings her work to a larger table where her co-workers are already busy working on their felt shoes. Since I went to felt training, I became one of felt group. Alteng has only been making felt shoes for three months. Adra, the organization which sponsors the felt workshop, taught her how to make felt shoes for the winter and use her land for gardening in the summer. Through Adra, she has gained a sense of community and a new way to support herself. When Alteng is not work, she stays tucked away in her house in Gir district, a residential area of houses and circular felt insulated tents. In this area, residents have little access to water, sanitation, and have no indoor plumbing. Mongolia's air is polluted because families use coal for heat, and coal-burning power plants use it to generate electricity. The pollution is a serious health hazard for everyone. The pollution doesn't bother me. I don't worry about it. I don't use a mask. I'm one of the pollution sources. What can I say? I produce smoke too. Alteng spends hours embroidering designs onto the shoe she will give to her family. She doesn't make the shoes for profit. Felt making is her newfound interest, her passion. Before, I couldn't do anything with felt. Now I'm learning. I understand that humans are always learning until they die, and life is so wealthy. 